Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says two to the X plus two to the Y equals six. X plus Y equals two. And it wants to know what is four to the X plus four to the Y. This is day three of our Algebraic February calendar. For the month of February, we're gonna solve 28 Algebraic problems. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, let's copy down this top row, two to the X plus two to the Y equals six. And let's square both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, this thing squared is equal to this thing times itself. And then on the right-hand side, six squared is 36. So what is this times this? Let's bring it down here. We're gonna multiply all this out. We're gonna do two to the X times two to the X plus two to the X times two to the Y plus two to the Y times two to the X plus two to the y times two to the y. For the first term, two to the x times two to the x, that's two to the x squared. For the middle two terms, these are the exact same thing, so we can say we have two of them. It's two, two to the x times two to the y. And then for the last one, two to the y times two to the y, that is two to the y squared. Now let's smush everything together and see if we can simplify this more. So for this first term, these are gonna multiply. Here's the notes right here. If you ever have a base to an exponent to an exponent, you just multiply those exponents. Well, since they're just gonna be multiplied, we can change their order. So we can rewrite this as two squared to the X. So this is the same thing as this, which is the same thing as this. And then now let's simplify this middle term. If you're multiplying two powers with the same base, you can just add the exponents. Here's the notes right here. So this two to the X times two to the Y would become two to the X plus Y. We're just adding the exponents. And then for the third one, same thing, these exponents are gonna multiply, so we can just swap them. It'd be two squared to the Y, which is the same thing as two to the Y squared and vice versa. So now for the first term, this two squared in the parentheses is equal to four. And then for the middle term, let's copy it down. And then for the third term, this two squared in parentheses is four. So this whole thing became four to the X plus two times two to the X plus Y plus four to the Y. Let's get rid of all this work and let's bring these up here. And this whole thing is still equal to 36. So what can we do next? Oh, the X plus Y, we know what that is. That's equal to two. So let's copy this down and in the place of X plus Y, let's plug in two. So this inside of the parentheses will be two squared and two squared is equal to four and two times four is equal to eight. So this whole third term is equal to eight. And let's copy down everything else. Let's smush everything together and subtract eight from both sides. These will cancel each other out, so the left-hand side is four to the x plus four to the y. And 36 minus eight is equal to 28. So now what should we do? Oh, this is our answer, we're done. The question wanted to know what is four to the x plus four to the y. Well, four to the x plus four to the y is equal to 28. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. For this system of equations, this is equal to 28. How exciting. Now here's the question for tomorrow. Which is larger, two to the power of square root of three or three to the power of square root of two? You could just plug it into a calculator, but I wanna to try to solve it without a calculator. How exciting.